This video is going to cover the workflow of utilizing steel tongs, the font, to create text for the movie poster project. On D2L is the link for steel tongs, the font here. And by clicking on this link, it brings us to this page where we can download it. Now, if I click on Steel Tongs, which is right here on screen, I will see that it gives us access to my character map. The character map is going to be important because that is going to show me how to get all of these different words or groupings of letters to pair up on screen. The key thing to notice is that we have capital letters that give us actual letters as we will work with those on our text and lowercase letters or symbols are going to give you access to all of the other kinds of words. So a lowercase m will be story by, lowercase l co-directed by, written by is lowercase a. So we look for what letter corresponds to what we wish to put on screen. Now seeing all of these characters, sometimes you will be wondering, how do I get access to the copyright symbol? How do I get access to any of the other symbols, like the cent symbol, dollar sign symbol? If it's not marked on the keyboard, that means you're going to have to use modifier keys to access those. And to do that, on the Macintosh, we go to our system preferences, and then inside the system preferences under keyboard we can then pull up show keyboard and character viewers and when I check that box this little icon shows up here on my main menu bar and if I look at keyboard viewer and click on that it pulls up my keyboard and it shows me the letters. If I hold down a shift key, it shows me the capital letter. So shift, and now we see four becomes a dollar sign. Now if I hold down the option key on the keyboard, we'll notice how I get other characters showing up, such as the reserve character, copyright character, the cent sign, the pound sign, as in British pounds. So trademark. So shift gives me one set of characters, and those we can see on the keyboard, but option will give me additional characters. So when I am looking in steel tongs and trying to find how do I get a copyright symbol, how do I get the reserve symbol, how do I get any of these things that are not just a letter, it's a really good place to find that. So this is how we study our character map and work with that so we understand it. Now I need to click the download button and download that font. It's going to download it to the computer and we can do this on any of the computers in the classroom lab or inside the computer lab or in the commons areas. You can just download the font, keep a copy of it on your zip drive so you don't have to re-download it every time. And then I'm going to just go find it. I'll see where it is. There is that folder double click on it that unzips it and now that gives me access to the font. To install this font all I have to do is double click on the TTF file. It's a true type font file. So I double click and then that's going to launch the program called Fontbook. And that gives me the option to install the font on my computer. So I just simply click on install and it installed with no issues. Now that it's been installed, that font will be available for me to use inside of Photoshop. So if I click over to Photoshop, and now I select the text tool, looking with the text tool, I can scroll down my list of fonts, and it's all alphabetically, so then ST, there are steel tongues, so I select that, and if I go back into my web browser to find out, I want to find something written and directed by is going to be the left parenthesis. Right parenthesis, associate producer, film by is going to be the star key. Okay. 
So in Photoshop, if I click here, and now shift and star, we get something. Now that's kind of hard to read because our text is being set at 12 points. So that's pretty small right now. So in the interest of the video, I'm going to at least make it a little bit bigger so we can see it, it comes up as a film by. And now if I do the cap lock key, I can say John McCaffrey. Now, that would probably be too big if I'm trying to put all kinds of text on the bottom of the screen. And the reason steel tongs work so well is the letters are really skinny, so you're able to fit lots and lots of words into a very tiny space. So 72 point is probably too big. I mean, if, even if I do go back to 12, we can see that that's small. And if I'm putting all kinds of direct and produced by, starring by, casting by, weapon designed by, art design, and on and on and on, but we may want it small. So now that we have that, I'm going to grab parenthesis, written and directed by, and I did everything, so I'm giving myself credit. I would recommend you don't give, make you be everything. One name repeating incessantly over and over gets to be a little bit tedious. Now if I go back into Steel Tongs, look for something else, and Technical Supervisor, that would be a greater than sign, so I'll put that on. So, go back into Photoshop here, Technical Supervisor, and then we'll just do Ethan. Cohen, seeing as the Cohen brothers just came out with a new movie, though I need a space there. Now it, it's possible we can zoom in a little bit. We can see this is now giving us the text that we need. And once I have the text in Photoshop, if I double click on it, I can always change its size. I can click here, I can change its color to be whatever I need to go with my movie poster. I can switch to the move tool and I can move it around. And I accidentally, I thought I was in the same text field, so I thought I added it to it, it didn't. But if you by accident do make multiple text elements, you can move them around and Photoshop is pretty good as you can see about snapping alignment, trying to get things to align together. It's decent about doing that. Otherwise I can go into this text field, grab the text tool, and if I triple click it selects everything and now I can copy that which is edit copy, click on my move tool, go back to my text tool, go to this one, at the end of the line, I can paste it in. So now we pasted that in. And we'll see that is part of it. I can take the one I don't want. And my trash can is kind of hidden underneath my dock, but I know where it is. So I'll drag it and now it's gone. So setting the text for the movie poster is just going to be a matter of typing all of that in and then positioning it on screen where we need it on screen. So follow the link on D2L, download the font, install the font on whatever computer you're working on, and then the text is available in Photoshop for you to start typing. Good luck.